friction. Force. Look, is the ball moving? No, the ball will move only when it is pushed. A small push will move it a short distance. A large push will move it farther. Thus, when you push, you move the thing away from yourself. Now, look at this trolley. It will move only when pulled or else it will remain at its place. When you pull, you bring the thing closer to yourself. Thus, we say a force is a push or a pull that is exerted to move things. Friction Early man accidentally discovered fire by rubbing two flint stones together. While doing so, sparks were ignited. The friction between the stones created the sparks. Now, rub your palms together. First, gently, quickly and hard. Do it for one full minute. Your palms became warm when you rubbed them against each other. The harder you rubbed, the warmer they got. The friction between your palms made them warmer. The word friction comes from a Latin word which means to rub. When two surfaces come in contact with each other in such a way that they rub or chafe against one another, friction occurs. When the base of the thing being moved and the surface on which it is moving are smooth, less friction is generated. But if either one is rough or in some cases both are rough, far more force has to be applied as friction is greater. Do you know, mountaineers boots have spikes as ice is slippery and the friction is very slight in regular shoes. Thus, in our everyday life, we see many examples of how force and friction play important roles in everything that we do.